Hi everyone, right, today we're going to be trying Luna's feathering technique. Um, I messaged her a couple of weeks ago, I've been chatting to her quite a bit, um, so we're going to give this a try. We're going to be using a different resin than I normally use because I've found with my regular medium viscosity that I'm, I'm kind of I'm getting a good effect which is kind of similar to my alcohol ink techniques um, that similar kind of effect but it's just not obviously it's not similar to Luna's so we're going to be using a 2-1 this is from Entropy Resins we'll be using that today we're going to be using the Armour Art Pigment Pastes now, I've, I must admit, I've been struggling with this one. So I'm gonna, this is my first time using this resin. So I'm gonna try, I've poured kind of sets in my mold. I'm gonna try mixing these first with the colors that I want and the alcohol. I'm gonna drop them in one of each of the pairs. And then I'm gonna try adding one drop of alcohol to each. Um, but I'm not going to go through the counting steps of counting the alcohol. I mean, I'll, I'll take you down here on one of them and I'll kind of show you the, what what the pigment needs to do um, to save it from sinking or, or from spreading too far. I'm not going to start counting all the drops. It's kind of a it's a it's a technique you kind of need to test in a tester and see how it works. Um, I know a lot of people like having a recipe, but I, I'm just not going to go through counting. 40 odd maybe 50 drops in each cup so we've got in here our 99.9 percent .9 alcohol isopropanol so i'm just gonna go because i don't know whether this is going to work so i'm just going to go ahead and start um mixing the colors that i like so i'm going to go with maybe two drizzles of the pink in this one I'm gonna make a purple in this so I'm gonna go with one pink and one blue and we're gonna go for a yellow now in each one of these is um, exactly three grams of pre-mixed resin and um, what should we do for this one? Just the blue on its own. I'm going to go for two drops, about two drops of that, of that. And then we're just going to start mixing these. It's really, it's a balancing act, this technique. It can go so wrong from what I've discovered. You really do need to mix these up. Again, thanks for the subs. We've hit 10k, almost at 10,500 now, I think. That's amazing. Thank you to all of you for your support. And thanks again for the donations, the sponsorships. I'm going to change the way that's done. Um, if you do decide you want to help. And support what I'll do is possibly look into thanking those who do on a community tab post I mean if you want to remain anonymous then just let me know it's just my way of saying thank you those that buy me coffee I, I try to go well I have been going in there and thanking them via the app it's the yellow Just hope this time it works. And sometimes you, you get the look you want, you think you've got the look you want from the back. And then when it comes out, I mean, let me show you one that I did yesterday. Some of you have probably seen this online. 
I had no feathering at all. You just focus. But it's still giving a really cool. Whoa. Focus. Story of my life with this focus stuff. There you go. Still a really cool effect. Still really like it. It's like ribbony. So yeah. <clears throat> It's really hit and miss, but it's fun. I mean, I've been, this is probably now, oof, seventh, maybe seventh attempt at this. And just when you think you know where you've gone wrong, you try a different method and it just doesn't work. Right, so now we need to add the alcohol. So I'm just gonna drizzle the alcohol. Too much and it's gonna be ruined. But I kind of roughly know now not to overthink this. really do need to mix this in properly and then what I'm gonna do in a sec is just pause the video move the phone down get you a good focus on my tester piece and just see how this is reacting if it's not reacting the way I want, I'll keep the phone in position and just add more alcohol so that you can see the effect that I'm trying to get. So I'm going to pause that now and take you down. Right, so this is my tester piece. We're just going to take a drop and just plop it onto the surface and just see what happens. We want it to kind of spread and that's not spreading. So we're gonna add more alcohol again. I'm not counting the drops. I'm not going crazy with it. What you don't want it to do is just spread out too much. But you kinda of don't want it to stay in its place as it is there. Go for another one. We need more alcohol, you can tell straight away. I mean, if you watch Luna's video, you can see as soon as she puts that pigment onto the pieces that she's working with, it almost instantly starts spreading. And sometimes you can see with some of the colors that she uses, this kind of like a ring, a hollow ring in the center. And that's, that's the kind of consistency we're looking for with the mix. Adding more alcohol. Let me try again. See that one's spreading, and you've got straight away that kind of ring in the center that kind of forms and then goes back. So that is the reaction of the alcohol and that's telling us we're on a on the right path just a little bit more alcohol that time I only added three drops not that I'm counting but if I'd have gone too far it's kind of learning where that where that line is bigger one again I'm going to add a little bit more see that that's what we want so I'm going to leave that 
And what I'm going to do is to save time of doing all this with the other three colours. You've seen from that kind of how we need to go. So I'm going to pause the video or stop the video and then I'm going to pre-mix the other colours and then we're going to start dropping. See you in a moment. Right, so we can see the colours are spreading quite nicely. It only took me a couple of minutes to quickly mix those, so we're going to take you back out. And um, we're going to start dropping. Like I said, I'm only going to drop into one of the pairs with these. And then, these are opaques. These are opaque inks, so they shouldn't really need a wipe, but I'm just going to see what the difference is. Um, so we're going to start dropping them in. Actually. I'm going to use a pipette for these. I don't know what you're doing, Dan. Right, so we're going to change that. We're going to use these ones and then we're going to go for those ones with the whites. We'll just see what happens. Just drop it anyway. That'll do. It's raining outside. Lovely British weather. What I'll do is just clean these out with a bit of alcohol afterwards. Now I'm going to leave these, once I've done this, I'm going to leave them for an hour and come back and just give them a swirl. Last one, the blue. Like I said, now I'm just going to mix a drop of white into each one. Add a little bit more alcohol because the, the white pigment obviously is going to thicken up the colours again. It's really tough to pour these out. Just a small drizzle. And what the white will do is cause the mix to push down similar to what the white alcohol ink does as a sinker. I'm just going to add some more alcohol to this. Again, I'm not counting. Pop it in my test pot or over the edge of the test pot.
Yep, it's good to go. I'm not going to use the pipettes because they've got the other mixing without the white, so it might make a bit of a difference. And then with the yellow, just mix that white in. And then we'll see which turns out best. Again, if you haven't subbed, hit that sub button. I mean, I think only, I looked at my stats and 80% of my viewers haven't subbed. You know, if you're talking, I've got 10,000, over 10,000 subs now, that would make a massive difference if you hit that sub just down here click there subscribe please Let's see how this is going a bit more alcohol I'm trying to simplify this for you whilst also hoping that I get it right a bit more alcohol That yellow is spreading nicely, but it's just not, for my liking, it's not fast enough. There we go. See how you get that, similar to the alcohol inks, you get that dancing. And that's what we want. Now what I'm going to do is quickly pause the video just to mix these two up, just so... You haven't got to stare at me staring with my stick. Right, so we've mixed these last two up just quickly. We're just going to drizzle these. I need a tad more. I thought it was ready. There you go. You see the way it just spreads out. Take you down. Making a bit of a mess. Couple more drops of alcohol in this, and you'll see the reaction in these two ones with just the blue. See that? You can see it clouding in the center. That's exactly what we want. I'm just going to put some purple in these. See what I mean? See that's kind of blobbed. What's happening is the, the alcohol is evaporating from the mixtures. So again, it's always good to use a test piece on the side. And you'll see just by adding a couple of drops of alcohol now, how that's now reacting again, how we want it. You can see on the back, you've got like a lacing, if you can see it properly. Try and zoom you in. See that kind of lacing? I mean, that's a really good sign. The ones that I poured earlier, you can see that lacing. That to me is showing me that the colors are pushing through the resin quite nicely, which is exactly what we want. Now these two are missing some yellow, so I'm just going to add a little bit more alcohol because it's been sitting there for a little while. Let's give that a quick stir. And just 
drop it anywhere. Right, so I think for now, we're gonna leave it. You'll see the difference in the colors between mixing the white, so these look more opaque. To be honest with you, I think these are gonna turn out better than these without the white, but we'll see. We could get a blob in, could sink too far. Like, a, like I've said, you know, this is all new to me. So, we'll see you in an hour. Bye. Right, so we're back to stir it up. Um, it's not been an hour, it's probably been about three, just over three hours. This, this resin is just not curing as fast. Um, so I wasn't getting that kind of sticky consistency, but I think this is about right now. So I'm gonna be using a cocktail stick and I'll also try some with my sewing pin just to see what they turn out like. So we're gonna go in. We'll start up here. And we're just gonna swirl. The resin around. This one we'll try this. Now the reason why I wanted to try this technique is back at the beginning when I first started posting in Facebook groups, um, a lot of people come to me and they were adamant that these um, these pieces were done by the same technique with pigments. Um, so it's kind of I I did watch. A couple of people said, oh, that's Luna's technique. So being new to resin, I was quite intrigued. I went and watched Luna's video and um, I looked at it and thought, nope, that's too complicated for me. But I've kept looking and looking and it's kind of intrigued me to the point where I've got to try it. So let's take it down a little bit so you can see. Let's go in with this one. And what we'll do is we'll give it a quick blast of the torch just in case we've drawn any bubbles into the resin. I'm half expecting some of these to touch the, um, the mold if it's worked. My hands getting in the way. Time will tell. And when I watched this back earlier, I realised I made a mistake when I was explaining what I was doing with the um, with the sets. I mean, I think I said one drop of alcohol instead of one drop of white, which is what I should have said. But you probably understand now after watching. Let's draw these around anyway. Just really hoping this. Uh, this works. If not, start again. For the eighth time. <laughs> Let's go around. And then with this last one, go with the cocktail stick. And then all we're left with is the test piece, which is pretty clear in some areas, so I'm not, I'm not too hopeful, but we'll see just how they turn out. So, I will see you for the D-mode. Bye for now. Right, so we're back. Let's see what these look like. We lost one. That was my fault. I tried to have a sneak peek. <laughs> Lesson learnt. Don't sneak peek. It was a bit mushy still under the bottom, so I let them cure. The tops were hard though, but the bottom was just a little bit, a bit mushy. So don't do that again. Right, so we're gonna start with the ones that we didn't have white in, which was these and these two. So we'll start with the square ones first. I think 
these are going to be the better ones, like I said earlier. Uh, still, still February, assuming. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Still good. Let's hope the rest are. Yeah, there's no drops. So I think with the deeper moulds, I really, I really think if it has worked, I'm going to get some um, blobs on those, especially around the sides. But this is my second time using the armour pastes. And you can see some feathering. Let's go for the round ones. There's nothing touching. And get a closer shot. I'll get some better photos anyway. If you're following me anywhere and the groups on Facebook, mainly the Letch Resin group, I normally post all my work in there. You can see the photos. Got some. It's that micro feathering, isn't it? I've got some bigger moulds, newer moulds coming tomorrow. Right, let's try these big ones. Oh wow. That's really nice. Bit of a blemish on the front of that one. So sand that down and maybe top coat. And the next one. And the same with that one as well. Not sure why. Maybe that was still a little bit soft on the bottom as well. I'll sort that out though when it's ready to sand. Pretty cool. Well, right, these are the ones that I did white. A few spores. Oh wow. Let's see around the edges. <clears throat> I see that's the shallow part of the mould and down the bottom. But the centre is really Let's see if I can get use my LED. See if it makes any difference. Let's turn that off. Well, I'm happy with that. I'll keep making more videos anyway. Oh wow. Luckily none of them none of those touched the front. Yeah, I'm good. I'm happy with those. Right, so we'll leave it. And um I look forward to getting the new molds and trying it in flatter molds instead of these so another massive thank you to luna for all your help and support thanks for watching um yeah i'll see you next time bye for now i almost forgot the test piece i got my gloves off and then realized we didn't do the test piece Look at that. Well, Luna, what do you think? I'll pop um, Luna's YouTube links in the description if you want to go and check her out. Amazing artist. Couldn't have done this without her, really. Thank you.